Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about when your Samsung Galaxy device might be getting the Android 9 or the Android Pie update, which brings you the brand new user interface from Samsung, which is called Samsung One UI. Now, lately I've done quite a few videos talking about the tips and tricks and tutorials, hidden features, and pretty much everything that you get with this update. And there's actually quite a few videos I still have in mind that I still haven't even covered yet. But I've been getting a lot of questions talking about hey Jimmy when does my device get the update when does my carrier get the update when is my part of the world getting the update so I've scoured the internet I try to read all these different articles from a whole bunch of different sources trying to figure out when are these updates coming I've checked out some Twitter feeds and a whole bunch of stuff uh, and so actually I have everything written down right in front of me going for each carrier in the United States and then a little bit of all the other countries um, outside of the United States um, as well as I'm checking out a website now it's from Android Authority I'll actually place this link below the the video inside the description so if you do want to check out everything I'm mentioning uh, this is a really good website and a good article pretty much putting everything in chronological order but really this video is just to give you some answers and and also a little bit of perspective of exactly what happens with some of these updates from Samsung and why they do certain things and when they do certain things so first off if you guys do happen to have a, uh, a phone that is unlocked from another country so maybe the UK maybe Germany South Korea um, you guys more than likely already got this update um, and so I wrote down here that more than likely you guys got it towards the end of January and maybe the very beginning of February and really the main reason why is because in the United States if you have Ryzen, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile usually those carriers have their own applications and certain things that they would also like to be included with the updates so that's why some carriers you might see will push it out a little bit sooner than the others is because samsung might say hey sprint uh here is the update what do you think we're all ready to go sprint's gonna probably respond back by stating hey we also want our sprint pay update you know or application to be updated or whatever apps they use uh and then once this looks good then we'll push out the update so that's why it's a little different um, i also read that canada for all of the nines um, got the update on February 7th so the recording of today's video is February 13th so if you were in Canada um, you already got it uh, right around February 7th and that's for the whole nine series meaning the s9 the s9 plus and the note 9 now when it comes over into the United States uh, what I have written down here is that for Verizon, uh, the update came out for the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus on January 31st, as well as February 1st. So that means about 12, 13, 14 days ago. So basically two weeks ago was when they started you know, pushing out this update. Now, the one thing I do want to mention that Samsung does that I think is very smart with the updates, even though it could be a little frustrating, is that when they send off updates, they do it in batches. So they actually shoot it off to this um, amount of build numbers, and then with everything looks good, they'll send it off in the next wave, and then another wave, and another wave. And that pretty much consolidates the fact that if anything was to go wrong with any type of an update, it happens to a small portion of devices, not all of them. And so one of the things I do mention is that when it comes down to the Apple products, usually when an update goes out, it goes out to every phone at once. And if there is a issue, a flaw, a problem, some of the phones brick or Wi-Fi's don't work or calling features don't work. It happens to every phone and it's really hard to fix. So I like the fact that Samsung pushes them out in waves. Um, also, I do wanna mention that the nine series will get the update first and then the eight series. So that was Verizon, um, January 31st and February 1st was when the S9 and the S9 Plus got the updates. Um, and then when it comes down to AT&T, they sent off the update for the Galaxy Note 9 on January 31st and February 1st. So if anybody out there is using uh, AT&T and you have the Galaxy Note 9, write a comment below if you've got that update. Same thing with Verizon. Um, if you have the S9 or the S9 Plus, write a comment below if you also got that update. Um, if you didn't get it, don't worry. Your build number is soon to wave out to get that update. Uh, for Sprint, it looks as if they sent the update on January 31st or February 1st to the S9 and the S9 Plus devices. And then on February 4th, was sent off for the Galaxy Note 9. So it looks as if Sprint was the carrier who put it off to the whole nine series, um, the S9, S9 Plus, and the Note 9, all within about five days of each other, which was about two weeks ago, which is fantastic. And that's actually how I've gotten my update was with the Sprint device. Uh, this is the Galaxy S9 Plus. Mine came out right around that time frame of actually around February 4th or February 2nd, I believe, um, and then that was when I got that update. Uh, when it comes down to T-Mobile, uh, February 10th, 
um, which was this past Monday, was when they sent off the update for the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus, but they actually stalled it because they had to do a few finishing touches, which is probably because they added in the new RCS thread, which is for messaging, uh, which is the whole new thing that I'm super happy and excited about for 5G is RCS thread. It's the new uh, form of tech, uh, basically text messaging. It's basically the new standard. It, it kind of takes like the best of iMessage and Facebook Messenger, GroupMe. It takes pretty much the best of every chat service, but puts it into one and that's RCS thread. And that should be releasing to all the carriers this year. And that's what I'm super excited about. Um, so we can get away from this old text messaging uh, standard. So they originally pushed it out on February 10th, but then they actually re-pushed it out today. So my buddy Brett um, with Tech with Brett, um, he messaged me today stating, hey, my T-Mobile Galaxy S9 Plus just got the update. So that means that even though it was uh, pushed out and then held on Monday, Today, Wednesday, the 13th, um, looks as if they re-released it. So T-Mobile folks, you should be seeing this update soon. Now, please remember that these ones are in waves. So if you hear that there is uh, the update coming to your device for your carrier today, it might take you a few days to do it. Also, you can plug in your Samsung device into a computer uh, with uh, Samsung Smart Switch. So if you download the program Samsung Smart Switch on your computer, it might be able to even push the update to you just a little bit faster. Now, for anybody who's using the 8 series, so the S8, the S8 Plus, the Galaxy Note 8, those are actually still in beta. So I found out that the Galaxy Note 8 is in the fourth update of beta, I believe as of yesterday. And then the Galaxy S8 is in beta for their third time, so the third update, um, as of just a few days ago as well too. So it sounds as if um, the 8 series will come as an update, my guess, in March. So rounding all of this out, how does Samsung do their updates? When do they usually come out? So as you guys all know, there's an event happening coming soon with unlaunching a new device or unpacking a new device. Usually around device launches is when the older devices will get some type of update if there is one to be had. So when the Galaxy Note 9 came out or the S9 came out, then that means some of the older devices like the S8s and the S7s were getting updates to make it a little similar to that device. Device. So it sounds perfectly normal for an update to come in February and March um, as this is around the time that Samsung is unpacking another device. So that's really everything I wanted to talk about. The end of things again is that the 9s series will get it first. So the S9, S9 Plus and the Galaxy Note 9. And then it sounds as if maybe a few weeks later, uh, maybe very beginning of March or the very end of April is when the 8 series will, will get their updates. So I hope that this has kind of helped you guys out. Um, how about we head over to the computer and I'll show you exactly kind of where I got some of this information. So you can see here, uh, it's the Samsung Pi update. So this actually, uh, this website is talking about all the devices. So you can read about Nokia and, and Huawei and pretty much anybody and everybody. But I scrolled down to the Samsung Pi update area on this Android Authority um, website. And so it dates back all the way to October 20th. But as you go on down, you can see that it gets updated and updated. This is talking about the Samsung One UI. You can do this in the United States and South Korea by downloading downloading um, the Samsung application for um, the Samsung Plus app. And so as you keep on going down, you're going to see all these updates. You can see what Samsung um, probably released with the potential devices that are getting all these different updates. So you can check out everything here. Um, and then this is where it's pretty much talking about some of these stable versioned Android Pie updates that's happening. Uh, you got like Android Pie, One UI, January 4th for the Galaxy Note 9, um, for the Exynos versions. Uh, this one right here for January 12th is talking about Malaysia. So as you keep going down, um, let's say we go closer to this date, you can see that on February 10th, T-Mobile started rolling it out on Android Pie for the S9, S9 Plus. The update uh, is pretty big. I mean, it's two gigs for pretty much any carrier, um, but it was put on hold. And so they pretty much pulled the update, but my friend Brett, got the update today so it looks as if they re-pushed it back out you can see uh you know canada is right here uh note nine and in, in canada right there as well so as you keep on going up you can kind of go through some of these different um dates so here's the february or the january 31st where it says both verizon and sprint started rolling out the pi update um to the s9 and the s9 plus so i tried to kind of 
bring everything together, let you guys know. Um, now it just feels like I'm rambling. I just wanted to give you guys the details. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Hopefully you kind of understand how things happened. Um, it doesn't go to every phone at the exact same time. It's to pretty much get away from if there was a problem, now you're not fixing 8 million phones, you only have to fix 800 <laughs> as just a, 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 a random number. Anyways, outside of that, I'll see you guys later. Make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you guys have not subscribed already. Uh, stay tuned for some more Samsung One UI videos, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you